What's up, senior mga brody? It's Easy Kiss again, back again with another video, and welcome to my channel. Talk about sneakers, customs, and streetwear. And before we even start this video, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking the video. It really helps me a lot. And most especially, please leave a comment so I can interact with you guys. With that out of the way, roll the intro. Wow, may pa intro intro pa. Wow, uh, famous ka brody. I hope you guys like the intro because I put a lot of effort into it for you guys to make it to make my videos to make my to make my shitty videos more a little bit more entertaining a little spice so basically today my brody we are going to do a review on a local sneaker shop so basically the story goes like this so my close friend Steven said brody i'm reselling shoes now do you want to cop a shoe i was like not this not to, not this time bro i'm trying to save up for like business type shit and you know you don't want to you don't want to cop a shoe and have to wait a long time for the money to come back to cop another shoe so, so steven said i but does your girlfriend want one i thought about it and was like let me ask so basically i asked my girlfriend if she wanted to cop a shoe because she's been eyeing air force ones a lot and you know you have to find the latest deal so basically Steve, i told steven steven she wants to buy this so basically and to make this long story short and to end the story we bought from his store so basically we're going to be reviewing his store because he asked me to so basically this is a free plug i guess steven you owe me one you better you better plug my ass that sounded wrong so basically the breakdown on how we're going to rate sneaker store is basically on presentation cost of the pair and what kind of stocks do they have? Like what kind of pairs they are selling? So basically, that's how I'm going. That's my how we're going to rate sneaker stores. And maybe at the end, give my you know opinion of a recommendation. Like maybe this can help them, you know, blow up. I mean, I may not be that famous. I may not know a lot of things in this kind of game or how to brand yourself. But it's not that bad to listen to an opinion if it helps. Enough with the talking, let's get to the review. So basically, the name of Steven's story is The Soul Collection. I kind of wish he went with the first name that he thought of and is that Shupa. Like, it brings that stigma, but <laughs> that's a fucking meme. But, you pick this and gotta respect, he's putting the work in. So basically, let's start with the paper bag. Basically, first the presentation, we're gonna grade them the presentation. So basically, Oh, I thought it was printed. You can, if you can see, guys, it's. I thought it was printed on the bag, on the paper bag. Basically, it's a custom paper bag. But I wish you could have gone with a sturdier one because this one feels like a little bit of water dropping onto it will break it. What really struck me was that not a lot of people, not a lot of brands, not a lot of people who are selling their shoes, sneakers, you know, doesn't present them with a custom paper bag that's plus one for me like i thought at first it was like printed on like they made a lot of paper bags with printed but it's um it's a paper glue to it but hey he's starting out he's making he's he's grinding and i hope to see a third year paper bag so let's get to the shoe so basically my girlfriend caught an air force one the box condition is like a little bit banged up you know i don't know why but I, I don't trust the shipping yeah, 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 yeah. The whole incident of eating packages all over the place like So basically the wrapper is okay With this pair of shoe it comes with a free sticker I You can see that's high quality I kind of wanted it but since it's my girlfriend's first shoe in buying, I have to give up. I have to give up the sticker. I really love stickers. As you can see from these two videos and this post, I gotta ask for one more sticker. Come on, bruh. You gotta hook me up too. Basically, that's the presentation. That's a custom paper bag with a logo on it and a free sticker. For the store that's starting out, that's, that's okay for me. So basically, I'll be giving it Maybe a 6 out of 10 for the presentation because his business with his girlfriend is starting out and they thought about doing much more presentation, delivering the shoes, delivering the product. So basically, 
it's an add-on for people who are buying. You know, you have to give the experience. So basically, six out of ten for since he's just starting. But once we get to like you know bigger, bigger resellers, bigger stores, you have to change the way you see it because bigger stores have to have a level of more professionalism. The shoes there, the shoes given, they'll have a separate feeling. But if you give them a premium feeling along with the shoe, that's golden. So basically, next is the pricing of the shoe. So basically, my girlfriend caught there. You go. So basically, my girlfriend. So basically, my girlfriend caught uh, pink hydrogen blue. Oh, this pink hydrogen. Oh, okay. You can see the back tab. That, that's hydrogen blue. So basically, it's fire pink hydrogen blue. I did not notice that. Look, I did not notice that it had a like. I thought this would be white. Like, so basically, this came out for 5k, and the original prices of Air Force One is around six to seven k, depending on what, where you buy it, and what type, what type of Air Force One you're buying. And this is a Air Force One Zero Seven or Level Seven, as they say. And for that price, it really is a steal because. A lot of Air Force Ones here are hard to find. A lot of Nike outlets and you know stores barely have them because a lot of resellers don't buy them or it's really in demand. So basically, for the price of this, I give it an 8 out of 10. It really is good. Uh, I think they did their best to resell it. In, in my mind, in terms of pricing, a 9 or a 10 would mean they would have sold it like below as in like they're cheap for me like that would be like a funny steal but for a person who wants to buy an air force one or any shoe that's within within their budget like typically within their budget without paying that hard that high resale value for this type of shoe you guys break even but basically the pricing is based on the shoe so basically my my opinion may change about it but for this shoe on an AF1 that's you know a lot of people oversaturate in the Philippines and bump up the price to 10 9k 9 to 10k this gives a 10 that's a, that's a good deal and lastly is the stock they have so basically they started off you know little by little so basically so basically, Steven and his girlfriend started off little by little with connections with their pe uh, with their cousins in BGC and a lot of people. They have a large variety of normal kicks that a lot of consumers want to buy. They don't basically buy like all the colorways. They keep buy the colorways that are clean, simple, and easy to sell. And basically now, since Steven, I think his friend or cousin said, I'll partner with you. I think it's his team. Uh, I think it's uncle. But I'll partner with you. I have this pair, these big game pairs, like these Yeezys, Dior's, Balenciagas, Off White, Jordan ones, big name, big game shoes in the sneaker world. He said, "I'll partner with you. You sell it, I'll give you profit." So basically, his so basically his stock he's selling is basically ranges from the most expensive. Than the normal consumer so basically it's it's an in-between put all his cards into normal normal shoes he doesn't put all his cards into like big game big name shoes he, he diversifies it and and makes his sneak makes a store more of a more of a diverse one a more flexible one you can buy a normal shoe you can buy a hype shoe my statement of them being still one of the best resellers, not over ballooning or over saturating a price for a sneaker, brings them 9 out of 10. Their stock is a solid one. For a normal consumer that just wants normal shoes, or a consumer who wants to buy a hype shoe. Basically, their store gets a solid 8 out of 10 because I see them, you know, upgrading a lot of things they want. and it, as of now, it is really good, actually. There's been a lot of people buying from them, and I hope, I hope the best for you guys.
hope the best for Soul Connection and for Steven's business. Thank you guys for watching. Easy kicks out. Zero zero